Once again, Happy Lunar New Year. I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer, with your weekly horoscopes at work from ReadTheStars.com. Wow, it's going to be a busy week. You've got to make it a busy one because Mercury is going to go retrograde Thursday, February 6th, 4.43 p.m. on the east coast of the United States. What that means is that for a few weeks, until about the end of the month, we're going to have a difficulty connecting, making our transportation needs meet with what really happens, um, our, our ability to convey information, as well as computers, anything electronic. There is an article up on the website that tells you how to prepare for Mercury Retrograde. I'm going to update it. I want you to read it and get ready, okay, because it's coming on the 6th of February. That is definitely the big news of the week. But let's go day by day so that you get a little bit better idea of what else is happening. Monday, very, very active. Moon in Aries, that's enough right there because, you know, the moon, as you, moon, as you know, sets the mood for the day. Aries, of course, is very assertive, active, that kind of thing. Well, it's going to get right in there with Uranus, Jupiter, Pluto, and Venus. So I would say emotional upsets. Be very careful about what you uh, choose to say on Monday, February 3rd because you may not like the consequences of it in a few weeks, okay? Um, then on Tuesday, the moon will still be in Aries and it will oppose Mars. So again, be very careful. Other people might come at you with things that you don't like to hear. So um, try to be gentle and fair in, in all of your dealings. By Wednesday, the moon moves into Taurus. Things get a little calmer, easier, best day for work most likely. So get all those files backed up, do all the things you need to do, get the car checked, all that stuff for Mercury Retrograde, which will happen on Thursday. Under the Taurus moon, again, you know, you don't have to hide under a rock. You just have to be careful. There are certain things you don't want to do during Mercury Retrograde, such as launch a new business, um, launch a new relationship, uh, try to uh, go on a trip unless you have somebody in your family who has mercury retrograde in his or her natal chart then you get them to do all the booking in your gold and that's good okay by friday the moon moves on into gemini at 1 44 p.m a little square to mercury a little square to neptune it could make for a fun friday night so you know i think that'll be good um it's always good for communication as good as it can be under Mercury retrograde when the moon is in Gemini. It'll stay there on Saturday. So, you know, good conversation, a little interaction from Uranus, a little bit of excitement, some exciting news perhaps. And then on Sunday, the moon goes void, of course, in the evening. And it's an easier day. It'll be with the moon trying the sun and the moon trying Mars and a big triangle in the sky. You know, all the things that were kind of upsetting us at the beginning of the week by the end of the week won't seem very important. And we will be able to live in peace and harmony and all those good things quite seriously. Yes, seek that out on Sunday. Try to make peace if you've had any difficulties throughout the week. And I have some exciting news. I'm going to be working from Journey's Bookstore. You can get a reading with me if you're here in Pittsburgh in the shady side on Belafonte Street. I'll be there this week, Tuesday from 1 to 5 and Saturday from 1 to 5, and then on Sunday, we're having a huge festival. <clears throat> it's called the Spirit Fair, and it's called Share the Love this time, from 11 to 6 p.m. at um, Spring Hill Suites on the south side, 2950 South Water Street. So if you want to get an a in-person reading with me, those are three good days to do that this week. And there's also all those private video readings that you can do if you're not in the Pittsburgh area. Okay, so... Uh, that you can do by going to the website and looking at the private video readings, clicking there, giving me your information, send me $19.95 via PayPal. I'll send you a request for the money when I receive your information. And then I will record for you a five-minute video of me talking about your chart. Nothing else, no prefab, nothing, okay? It's going to be me talking especially to you, answering one or two questions. Nothing too exotic now. I can only cover so much in five minutes and do it well, so that I will offer to you, as well as any other questions or comments you have for me, you can send along to Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.